we were having chicken and dumplings for dinner on this night and the boys asked me to do some cornbread muffins. So when I make cornbread, I of course am going to do it the sourdough way. And so the recipe that I use is um, out of a book called Simply Sourdough the Alaska Way and it's by Kathy Dugan. And they have, I mean, they have some good recipes in here. A lot of them I actually do not use because the, it also uses active dry yeast in the, in the ingredients. And if you're putting active dry yeast in your sourdough, it is actually not fermenting and it's not true sourdough. So because we want to actually have true sourdough, I do not add active dry yeast to um, my sourdough recipes and I don't use all the recipes in this cookbook but the sourdough cornbread is one of the good ones so what I'm doing here is I am putting a half cup of sugar which um, I did a combination of sucking it so I did half sucking it and half of the organic cane sugar and in the video I doubled the recipe but I'm going to be going over a, a single portion that's in the cookbook and it actually makes 18 um, muffin cups if you're going to be doing the muffins so I did a half cup of sugar and I added it to a cup of my sourdough starter now the starter I had what, I guess you could say this was technically a discard recipe, meaning that I hadn't fed it in a while. It wasn't bubbly, it wasn't rising, so it wasn't active. So it's um, it, it would be called a discard. And so I added the sugar to my discard, and then I went ahead and mixed that up, got it kind of nice and fluffy, and then I added um, one and a half cups of flour. I did use all-purpose flour. And then I, you're supposed to add three-fourths cup of cornmeal. Now, you, if you're paying attention to the video, I did not add cornmeal at all. <laughs> I completely forgot. So this was supposed to be cornbread muffins, and I didn't add the cornmeal. So it ended up being non-corn muffins, and they still turned out pretty good. Like, everybody still enjoyed them. Um, one tablespoon of baking powder you'll want to add, a half teaspoon of salt. I did melt my butter, it's a half cup of butter in the oven. I went ahead and melted that down and then adding two eggs, which because I'm doubling this it's a little bit more than two. And my eggs that I had left were smaller because my younger chickens are laying and so the eggs are a little smaller. So since they're smaller I did add an extra egg. And then one cup of milk. So you just mix all that up, stir it really good. What I normally do, which is what I didn't do in the video, is I normally go ahead and mix all of my wet ingredients into my starter. And it actually mixes and incorporates a lot easier. And then I'll add, here's my butter that I'm taking out of the oven. There's still a piece that's not all the way melted. That's totally fine because during the mixing process, it's gonna get it's gonna get melted and incorporated fine um, but I usually put all of my liquid ingredients in with my starter mix those things up very well and then I'll add my flour my salt my um, did I say baking powder big yeah my baking powder on top of that and then mix and that mixes a lot easier for me so I am using an ice cream scoop I mean you of course can use whatever it is you like to use to do muffins um, or cupcakes, but I use the ice cream scoop. I'm filling the, the cups up about three-fourths of the way. And again, I doubled this recipe, but a normal recipe, about 17 to 18 muffins. And then I'm sticking it in a preheated oven at 350 degrees Fahrenheit. And for the muffins, I'm going to actually bake that for 20 minutes. Now, your oven may vary here or there when it comes to minutes, so keep an eye on it. You want it nice and golden on top, but 20 minutes did it perfectly for me.